welcome to today's episode, which comes to you from Hong Kong. My next episode will be back in Beverly Hills for the condo renovation, which is finally back underway. And more about that in the next episode. But right now, I'm in Hong Kong for what could possibly be my last airline trip here as we stop flying here in approximately one week from now. But being indoors isn't necessarily a bad thing because that usually means food, which in Hong Kong is always a great thing. With that in mind, let's go hop into a cab because I'm already hungry just thinking about it. This particular trip started out with a deadhead to Seattle the night before the Hong Kong flight. And while I was there, I ate at a restaurant called Din Tai Fung in downtown Seattle. Now this is a Taiwanese restaurant with locations pretty much around the globe. But it's the one in Hong Kong that actually won the only Michelin star. So I thought it might be a good idea to see how its Seattle location stacks up against the one here in Hong Kong. Now at the Seattle location, I had the spicy cucumber salad appetizer some snow crab pork and soup dumplings, and uh, some noodles with sesame sauce. Now with all the amazing things to eat here, I'll do my best to compare the same items, but there's no guarantees. salad was much better and uh, much spicier. My mouth is actually still burning right now, but that was uh, really very good. The Hong Kong locations uh, soup dumplings were also better than Seattle. There was a lot more soup inside and it was just a touch more flavorful. I'm going to leave the uh, Din Tai Fung location here to finish this part of the video as it got very crowded and it was also getting very loud in there as I was afraid you wouldn't be able to hear me. Anyway, after the soup dumplings, I deviated from what I had in Seattle because I thought the noodles with the uh, sesame sauce there that I had were just okay. The noodles with the minced pork and beans here, man, they were excellent. And because I was still hungry after dinner in Seattle, I ordered the pan-fried shrimp and pork dumplings here. And as you can imagine, man, they were excellent. And all in all, I have to say that the one here really was much better than the one in Seattle. Anyway, if you like this particular video, let me know in the comments below as my good friend Larry, who is also a pilot for another airline, and I are in the planning stages of an entirely new channel dedicated to things just like this. So stay tuned for our announcement on this channel very soon. Now it's time to visit my brand new iPhone XS Max and Apple Watch Series 4 at the Apple Store just down Canton Road here. It's actually right behind me. And it's not actually my iPhone or Apple Watch, it's just ones that they have on this plane because mine's are sitting in a box back home as I was assigned this trip just the day they arrived. So anyway, let's go take a peek. And one other thing that I thought was rather interesting, and it's always done here, they got knockoffs of all the brand new iPhones as you walk the streets, I mean just feet from this Apple store. 
kind of amusing actually and they're, they're not real iPhones they're charging as much as real iPhones and they work on the Android operating system iPhone here, but I did uh, get my case, and uh, not only that, I got an airline discount and no sales tax, and I even decided to go a little bit different color. I went with the stone instead of the black this time. It's uh, my last time here uh, in the food court that's uh, just below where the uh, Din Tai Fung is. is a, a food court called Food Republic. And uh, right behind me over here is a sushi place that I've been wanting to try and considering it's probably going to be my last time here for a while, I'll give it a shot. and uh, honestly it was uh, very good I had pretty much a decent meal that was under $13 and it was uh, fantastic All right, now that I'm done I came back outside on Kent Road I was gonna do a little bit of walking around but the skies are looking threatening again with some thunderstorms so I think it's time to regroup and uh, grab a taxi cab and go back to the hotel Tell that cab driver that I got it took a while to get one but the cab driver I had man he was fast that worked really well and uh, right behind me here looks like a, uh, a wedding going on let's go take a quick peek it's 8 a.m. here in Hong Kong and I'm about to head downstairs to catch a ride to the airport for what could be the last time that I actually have an airline trip here and for me, that's kind of sad, as the city is one of my favorite places on the globe. Now, I know I'll be back at some point, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to actually happen with my airline. So anyway, I will see you next time when we go back to the condo renovation project where things are beginning to move along once again. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep an eye out for the announcement with that new channel that I'll be doing with my friend Larry. And I will see you next time.